Hey, Shalom Amish, Shalom Am. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders of Oslo, Great Millstone, for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where we go. Shalom Am, brothers and sisters. Just want to make this quick, uh, I don't know, this quick epistle, brothers and sisters. It was, uh, you know, let y'all know that the other night I got I got hit with a ton ton of bricks, bro. I've been down fighting. Uh, you know, and the uh, interesting thing about it is that uh, the the last epistle I did was called "Fight for Salvation." <laughs> so, <laughs> all praises to you, how about my shot, man? So, um, yeah, I got hit with a ton of bricks. I don't know if, what it was, if the flu, or you know what, but I had had to stop and think, you know, and. Uh, Hold hold my integrity, uh, cause it was hurt. It hurts, bro. It still still hurt. Uh, I don't know if it was just a regular flu or if it was that, you know, that thing. But anyway, you know, thinking back on you, how about Shema Shah that there's nothing that happens without his consent. So either is that thing, and now I have diplomatic immunity. You know what I'm talking about? That'd be great. Cause I was I, I was thinking about you know it'd be great to get it. So you can go get it out of the way, you know. So, but it was tough. So you know we had to fight and hold on, you know, to this truth through all of that, through the pain, man. That was not easy. Uh, you know, uh, because you 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 fog in the head, your body is like a total. It's like it's like wow, bro. It's like something else. Okay, so this little epistle here we got here, gonna bring it out quickly. Uh, I wanted to say something else. I don't know. But, yeah, so I thought about he Hezekiah. You know, uh, how he, Hezekiah, how he, uh, when he heard that he was going to die, you know, turned his face to the wall and prayed to you, how about Shema Shah, and said, haven't I, you know, haven't I, you know, done everything you told me to do and, 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 and walk, you know, try to, try to walk, in a in an upright manner, roughly paraphrasing, you know, and how about Shemasha added added to him, fifteen years to his life, bro. So I thought about that during all this. Thought about you know nothing happens without how about Shemasha's consent, and uh, you know just to hold that integrity. We're gonna bring out this little short epistle, okay? Oh, and also went back to uh, you know the how about Shemasha once again and let us know what we should be doing. Uh, during times like this, you know, do not abhor the, the the herbs of the field. So what what we do? We went right back to the lemon, to the onion. I threw some garlic in there this time and some ginger in there this time, and I boiled the shit out of it. Not not too much though. I boiled it. Uh, I poured it in a cup. I poured some put some liquor in the cup, and I put some honey in there. And I drunk, I kept drinking, I kept drinking it, and then I, I got hot, you know, uh, break, to break that fever, bro. Uh, it, it broke the fever. It was it was a lot, man. I mean, it, it was something else. So I just wanted to, you know, bring it out that uh, I've been down, bro. I've been down. So let's get into the epistle. Salaki, if I'm talking too much. The book of Isaiah, chapter 68, verse 20. That's not Isaiah. Salaki. This is Psalm 68 and 20. Yeah, Psalms chapter 68, verse 20. Salaki. He that is he that is our God, Yahweh Shemashah, is the God of salvation. Okay? And until Yahweh Shemashah, the Lord, belongeth the issues of death. Right, so there you go right there. The issues of death belong to Yahweh Shema Shai. So if, if the Lord, if it, was, if it was his will that uh, I wasn't going to make it, you know, and just perish. So, you know, that's the will. His will be done. Okay. So we understand. So what I did, the first thing I did was repent, actually, bro. I've, you know, I wanted to mention that. The first thing I did was repent. 
and asked the Lord to forgive me for anything I had done wrong, that this would have happened to me. All right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, and ask him to have mercy on me, okay? Forgive me for my sins and have mercy on me, and then uh, also to help me to get wet, to get better. Because that shit, the, the, the aching bones, the, 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 the your head is all foggy and everything. Blah, the, the, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. I haven't, and you know what? The, you know about this thing? The mercy, the tender mercies of Yahweh Shem is that I haven't been sick in like years. I'm talking about five or six years. I can't even remember. So that's one thing Yahweh Shem Shah has always blessed me with is a is a good immune system. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See that I, even I, am He. There is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right. So once again, you have a Shema Shai. He's the Almighty. He's the one that kills and makes alive. He's the one that wounds. And he's the one that heals. So if something happens, man, you run to Yahweh have Shema Shai. Run to the big boss. This is the book of James chapter 5, verse 11. 5, verse 11. James chapter 5, verse 11. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Okay, you have heard, you have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the the end of the Lord of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful, and of tender mercies. Okay, yeah, you heard the patience of Job. You know all the shit that Job went through, all the hell that he went through, bro. And he was increased at his latter end. So you can't you can't you can't give up. You have to hold your integrity. This is the book of Job, chapter nine, verse. Shalaki, Job chapter 2, verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse your Habashim Asha and die. Okay? But he said unto her, Thou speaketh as one of the foolish women speaketh. Shalaki. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall we, what shall we receive? Good at the hand of Yahweh Hashem Hashem? And shall not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips, my man. And that's holding your integrity. It's been faithful, you know. Faithful unto death. You know, so uh, understanding that Yahweh Hashem Hashem is the one that rules in the kingdom of men. You know, he... He's all powerful, bro. He's already declared the end from the beginning. The story's already written. Okay? And when this time of Jacob's trouble come in, when they, you know, throw some of you in prison or us in prison, you know, uh, all that stuff, you know, the, 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 the pain, the torturing, the, the, uh, the damn afflictions, continue on knowing that we are the, we, we are, uh, we are the children of Yahweh Shema Shai, bro. The Lord didn't call us, you know, for wrath but to obtain salvation okay so we might go through some things through much tribulations we should enter into the kingdom of heaven but we got to continue on in the faith man not being tossed to and fro not wavering let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 4 uh hold on This is the book of Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 4. Whatever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy, right, order thy way all right, and trust in him. Ye that fear Yahweh, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, at least ye fall. Ye that fear Yahweh, believe in him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. And for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any ever abide in his fear and was forsaken? Whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in times of affliction. Whoa. 
be to the faint hearted and faint hands and sinner that goeth two ways. Okay? Woe to him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Okay? That's right, man. You got to understand, you got to believe the words. You got to believe in Yahweh Shai and, 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 uh, and do what he tell you to do, man. He said, don't I hope the, the, the herbs of the field, you know? And then what did he say? Pray. Pray to Yahweh Shai and ask him to heal you up, bro. Going to the book of uh, Jeremiah. We're about to wrap it up. Uh, chapter 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in Yahweh Shemashah and whose hope the Lord is. Okay? Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord Yahweh Shemashah and whose hope the Lord Yahweh Shemashah is. I'm going to close it out with the book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 4, verse 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body. The, the, the dying of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. That the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our bodies. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shah's sake, that the life also of Yahweh Shah might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Okay? We have in the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believe and therefore I have spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Right, bro. We, we believe this word, so we live accordingly to this word you know so um like like i said you know when something happens in your life like this time we're coming into now time of jacob's trouble the beginning of sorrows keep your how about bro hold that integrity you know uh, as we do now do then as we do now by you know waking up every morning and keeping your how about at the, at the forefront of our minds throughout the day when you're going through your afflictions and all your sufferings and pain and sorrows and your trials, keep your how about Shemashah, bro. So I don't know what they're going to name this. Maybe you just keep that and hold that integrity or something like that. So with that, hopefully this is edifying and exhorting, brothers and sisters. Uh, getting a little bit better, but, you know, still got a little bit ways to go to that 100%. So with that, hopefully this is, uh, once again, give it all honors and praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.